Good morning guys, we are one week away from being in Hawaii, so this vlog is going to be all of the stuff like prepping to get ready to go on a vacation with a toddler. <laughs> first things first, I gotta get my nails done, they're looking rough. I got them done about six weeks ago, I only get Russian manicures now, so they last a really, really long time and like my nails don't break, but they're super, super grown out. So I think I'm going to get like a nice light blue color and I'm debating adding some chrome on top today because I have quite a few swimsuits I'm bringing that are like a light blue, like pastel color so I think that'll match really good and look cute in Hawaii. My nail girl lives an hour and a half away so it's a long drive and then a Russian manicure takes around two to two and a half hours and then an hour and a half drive back home so it's like a full day and it sucks but I feel like it's worth it because they're like my nails are so strong after I don't bite them and they just last forever so it's worth the drive and worth the time in my opinion. <laughs> got here a little early but I have to pee really bad so I'm gonna run in and I'm excited to see how my nails look after. Okay guys, it's the next day. I had a massive headache during my nails and the drive was just so long and I did not think to pick up my vlog camera yesterday, but here's the finished nails. It took two and a half hours this time and it usually takes two hours. So I don't know why it took longer, but it hurt. A Russian manicure, they like cut your cuticles off and my fingers were bleeding so much and they're super sore. So yeah, I was just like very done yesterday. But now if I'd show you everything that I bought over the weekend for Hawaii, huge clothing haul because I literally never treat myself to anything. So I went a little crazy. My husband got some stuff too. And sorry, my dog's paws are so loud. He needs to get his nails cut. And then I have a few Amazon packages too. They're all things for Hawaii. Just from Pink, I got quite a few swimsuits. They had a really good deal. It was buy two, get two free. So here's what I got. This is the first one. I actually need to go and exchange it because I got an extra small. It was all they had and we wouldn't. We basically went shopping in a mall like farther away that's bigger and this was the only size they have but I have a pink closer to us so I'm gonna go check there and see if they have a small. And next I got this really cute ruffly like gingham, is that how you pronounce it? Like gingham pattern blue. Super excited to wear this one. This one's probably my favorite swimsuit that I'll ever own. It's super flattering, high-waisted, and it has like really good coverage on the back which I like as a mom since I'm just gonna be like playing in sand. I hate when my swimsuit's like up my butt. And then the top is also really good coverage. I don't like when I have to worry about anything showing or falling out, so this is perfect. And then I got one more swimsuit from Hollister. This one's also really flattering and has really good coverage, light blue color. That's why I wanted to do the blue nails. And then I think these bottoms are also, actually these ones might not be high-waisted, but just really good coverage. And then also from Hollister, I really wanted just some like comfy, baggy t-shirts. So I found one really cute one, love the hot pink. And then I also really wanted to get a maxi skirt. I didn't try this one on, so I have to see if it fits. I think it will though. But just a basic white maxi skirt. And at Victoria's Secret, I desperately needed new bras. Like I've been squeezing into my pre-pregnancy bras from my first pregnancy that were 32A, and they were very stretched out and I knew they didn't fit me, but I thought I'd go up like maybe one size, but no, I had the measure me and I'm now a 32C. And honestly, now that I've gotten home, I just like bought 32Cs. I didn't try them all on. I feel like they're a little tight still, so I might even go up to a 34C, but I'm not gonna show you guys my bras, but I got four of them. Really good deal. I think it was like $85 for four bras. Next, I went to Lululemon. I wanted to get a comfy outfit for the plane. Um, I'm wearing the jacket right now. Once I got this, I just like couldn't take it off. And then I got the matching sweatpants. They're super soft. They feel just like leggings, but fit more like a sweatpant. So I'm really excited to wear these on the plane. And then lastly, I got a bunch of stuff from Abercrombie and Fitch. My husband's stuff's on top. He got underwear. And then he got some new swim trunks and these are like super nice. I love the colors, a green, and then he got a blue. He also picked up some new shorts and then we saw this as we were checking out and I was like, oh, you should get that because it matches this jacket so he can wear this on the plane and we'll both be wearing purple. Forget what I got from here. Oh yeah, so I really needed some denim shorts. I just sized up and I think they'll fit me like throughout some of my pregnancy and then they're like a little stretchy right now so they're super comfortable. And then I got two baggy t-shirts. They both have like fruit on them. I thought they'd be really cute to wear with these shorts I just ordered on Amazon that I think are in those boxes. And then I got a really pretty swimsuit cover up. All right, now let's do these Amazon packages. I also have a giant box. I ordered a like beach canopy tent thing that's supposed to be like collapsible and easy. Like the picture showed you literally just like throw it on the ground and it pops open and it looked like it was maybe like two feet big. This thing's huge though, so we'll see if this is gonna make it into a suitcase. Okay, thank God, there's a lot of space in the box. Mm. 
actually now that I'm thinking of it, I don't think this is gonna fit in our suitcase because we're not checking a bag. We're doing three like smaller carry-ons. This definitely is not going to fit. That's a bummer. Okay, this one's kind of boring. Just some replacement toothbrush heads for Banks because I got him an electric toothbrush. Um, and since we've all been sick and he currently has an ear infection, I was like, we need to change out his toothbrush. So I needed to order more of these, which they're very expensive. It was $30 for how many in here? Four. I'm excited to use this one. It's a mini phone tripod because I wanted something like super easy to carry around the airport and vlog for you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and tiny. This will be perfect. Like, I feel like less obnoxious carrying this around. I don't know if you guys have seen the boxer short trend, but I wanted to join in on the trends. I think it's really cute. They're basically like pajama shorts, but they're really cute with like baggy t-shirts or crop tops. And I think these will be so cute and comfy for Hawaii. I kind of regret not buying more colors. Okay, that is everything for my enormous haul. I will probably pick up the vlog again tomorrow. I'm having the babysitter come over and I'm gonna try to get some packing done, plan some outfits. Sorry, my dog's going crazy on the couch and just get some things in order. I still need to go to the store and get like all the travel size toiletries. I need like mini shampoo and conditioner. I need all that stuff. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow while the babysitter's here too. Do you need help? Oh, you got it. All right, let's go get in the car. Thanks, come on. <coughs> ah, my allergies are so bad. Happy Friday, guys. It does not feel very happy. My allergies are so bad this morning. Whenever I sneeze, it's like 10 sneezes and it just is making my ribs hurt. I'm just like so irritated with allergies. I'm hoping when we get to Hawaii, it's just like different air, different allergens, and I'm not as allergic, I don't know. But I just dropped Banks off at preschool and I'm also stressed out about that. We get there and as I'm dropping him off, a parent is picking up a kid and the teacher was like, yeah, like 10 minutes after you dropped her off, she started puking. So I'm just like, great, there better not be a stomach bug going around. I don't want Banks to get anything. So I'm debating picking him up early after I get my lab work done. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I have to get a couple pregnancy labs done and then I have this like prenatal screening test that my doctor gave me that I have to drop off at the lab and then I'm doing just like basic prenatal labs. Wait, they're not prenatal anymore, are they? I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go do that. Yesterday I did have the babysitter come over and I didn't really, I packed Binks's bag. I didn't film that because I was just trying to rush and get it done while she was there. Um, but I like started laying out all my clothes and like picking outfits and stuff. And my room is just a hot mess. So I gotta get to that later. I'll probably do it this weekend. I wanna have everything ready by like Sunday night. So and if we leave Monday, we're just good to go. All right, all done with the blood work. We're back home. It's a couple hours later. Banks is down for his nap and we just got a fat package and I saw it said Melissa and Doug on it. So I opened it up and Banks got some new goodies. I'm gonna have all this set up for him in the playroom for whenever he wakes up from his nap, but cute little train. He's gonna love that. And I've never seen these before, a sound puzzle. So like when he puts the pieces in, it'll make the corresponding sound. He's gonna love that. And then a huge block kit. This thing's so heavy. Now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you the disaster in my room right now. It is so freaking bad. <laughs> Aside from the bed that's not made, literally all of that's clean laundry. And then behind this laundry pile, I have all the stuff I'm like most likely taking to Hawaii. So oh, it's just a hot mess. I need to deal with that. This is my husband's stuff from his little clothing haul. He didn't get nearly as much as I did. And I also still have more laundry to do. So I'm gonna move that over right now. Alrighty guys, it is Monday. We leave today and I am finally packing. My husband packed all of his stuff yesterday and I did Banks' stuff like two or three days ago, but I am so sick. I'm finally feeling better. I basically got strep throat again. I've been on antibiotics, so I feel better. Still not perfect. But yeah, I just had no energy to pack. So now we're doing it last minute, which is always fun. So yeah, I th what time is it? It's 3.09 and we need to leave my house by like 4.15, so let's try and do this. Okay, I have you guys on my dresser. I got a tripod, but it's like a travel one for the trip and I haven't unboxed it yet. I literally just got it this morning, so dresser it is. But let's do toiletries first. I feel like that's easier. I'm also filming this for shorts. I'm just folding everything up before I try and squeeze it into our little packing cubes. I think I can fit like two packing cubes and my makeup bag and toiletry bag in here. So hopefully I can fit all these clothes in here. 
And don't worry, I normally do not put suitcases on the bed, but this is a brand new one and the wheels are like super clean, so I don't mind this one time.